Hi, Abby Marie here, and I'm the founder of the Alive program. And I am passionate to help women who are being controlled by their past, fears, and guilt to release and reclaim their courage, passion, and vitality, becoming strong, confident, and free women who take control of their life. A lot of people feel that they are not worthy of an abundant life. A lot of people are scared of being vulnerable. And some people are held back because of limiting beliefs. So the difference between the conscious mind and the unconscious mind, and a way to look at this is that if you were to think about a pirate ship. So on this pirate ship, there's a captain and a crew. And neuroscientists have shown us that in our daily lives, we think that we're making a lot of conscious decisions. However, they have found out that 5% of our behavior is actually coming from our conscious mind. It's our unconscious mind that drives 95% of our behaviors. So this is why hypnosis is so powerful. Because if you have a pirate ship, the captain thinks that they're in control like our 5%, the same way the conscious mind does. You consciously think that you're in control of your behaviors and your decisions, just like the captain. However, the captain only has control if the crew follow what the captain says. But if there's mutiny that happens, who takes over the ship? It's the crew, isn't it? The crew takes over the ship because they are stronger than the captain. And so that's what happens when people have problems in their lives. When we have problems, when we have bad habits, when we have behaviors that we don't feel are helping us live our life greater, better, it is because consciously we want to stop doing it, but unconsciously our crew want to keep doing it. So any problems that you have, any problems that I have, there is a reason why we keep doing these problems. And the reason why we keep doing them is because our crew wants to keep doing them. But we don't know this. We think, why would I want to keep doing anxiety? Why would I want to keep having depression? Why would I want to keep having insomnia? Why would I want to be controlled by my past trauma? Why would I want to keep these things that cause issues in my life? Well, it's because the crew is doing that consciously. We think, I need to stop doing this. I need to stop doing that. Most people are not consciously aware of our dysfunctional programming when it comes to our relationship with ourselves. So four steps to consciously create a positive relationship with yourself are one, take time out for yourself. Two, release your unlimiting beliefs. Three, focusing on your needs first. And four, making a committed decision right now to have a positive relationship with yourself. You must also have a mindset that is aligned with abundant creation. And that this is why we need to work with the unconscious mind because that is where the, where the biggest decisions, the biggest transformations are going to come from. Again, this is why hypnosis is so useful. Now, people believe that hypnosis doesn't work and that it's not real. Trust me, I used to feel the same way. Many of my clients were skeptical before completing the program. This is because we weren't trained in how to uninstall the dysfunctional programming that they've picked up in their life. If you would like some help with your anxiety and you'd like to learn how to live your life by your values, please contact me for a free introductory coaching session because the life you seek may be just one hypnotherapy session away.